Right, all these sheep are just suddenly, I have nothing to do with me. They've actually seen something over there and they're all acting like sheep. And they're just running from everywhere. But it's nothing to do with me. For some, one sheep up there said something and now they're all, look, maybe the farmer's arrived. Does he arrive with some food for you? Look at them. They're coming from everywhere, aren't you? Yeah. Like I say, this is a very bitty video I'm doing. It's like bits and pieces. Just been talking to a couple. I do, I do stop and chat to people sometimes. Friendly people. Usually end up talking about the dogs. And uh, the walks, that sort of thing. Hey, where are you all going then? Oh, your coats look lovely. You're going to need them for a bit longer yet. Yes. See, they're all gone up there. Something's attracted you all. Look at you all. There's another bunch coming now. I don't know why you're all joining in. Is that why you're called sheep? Look at you. Look at you go. My goodness. Oh yeah, I think I can see a farmer or something up at a gate, or was that a cow? I don't know why they're going up. Yes, there's a bloke. He's probably feeding them um, pellets. I mean, a week or so ago, this would have been covered in snow here. So I'm leading myself up to um, a big stone style, a big Somerset stone style. You see, I may need to see this place in the winter. <laughs> so, if I do get the chance to get here um, in the summer when all the all these trees are green, it is quite, and there's wildflowers about, it is quite a, an honour to be able to do that. Right, we're nearly at the point where we'll be doing what I call the stride back to Cheddar. Or, let's say, until we get to Draycott Slides. We've got about... Where is he? One, two, three... We've probably got, probably got about nine, ten fields to go through. Styles to climb. But I haven't actually done this walk I've just done now from there. I haven't actually done that f probably for about a year. It's beautiful, isn't it? There's a couple of pending cows up there. A couple of pen, just a couple. And here's one of these lovely walls, look. So I've got to be careful getting over because I think I strained a ligament in my groin earlier. It's eased up a bit now, now I've been walking. Now, the last time I was here in December, I came up this hill from West Westbury Mendip. I came up here from Cook's Fields and Nature Reserve. And then we're heading straight across there. Right, over now. Right, walking towards a stile. And in the, there's a stile there, look. And then in the distance... There's another one. So I've got to go towards that one. These are the pretty fields I talk about. Stockton Forest right over in the distance there. Right over there we've got Roborough Warren that I talk about a lot, which I should be doing walks in in the summer. I've got to go all over these fields. I've got to go all over these fields. 
these fields are arable these don't tend to have cows in them these ones so there's three or four fields that you can walk across it's not until you get closer to the farm that uh, the cows now I have no idea whatsoever whether this farmer will ha allow his cows out I suppose it depends if there's any grass for him to eat that's probably one factor why they won't be out in the distance there we've got the pretty barrows which I walked on a couple of weeks ago I was up on the barrows going down to the mineries It's a beautiful day and there's beautiful views here. Well, I've done a lot of hill climbing and my lungs are aching a bit. Well, I have done quite a lot of uphill stuff today. Now we've got and lots of this is level now for quite a while really. Level all the way to Draycott Slights where we will follow the lower track there. There will be hardly any hills now. Just put the camera down a minute. And here's Sheila. Out in the beautiful Somerset countryside. Right, you just had to put the charger on. Oh, there's a tractor coming. <sighs> tractor there, look. And where he's going. Let's just stay here a minute. Oh. <sighs> All right, let me just walk on then. <laughs> Big tractor coming, he might be spraying something. Fertiliser, I suppose. They got such computerised technology now in these big vehicles, you know. So anyway, I've connected up the computer again. So, com connected up the computer again to the battery charger. The camera, I mean, not the computer. This is an allowed path. I don't think, I don't know if it's public right away. I think it's what the farmer allows. I think it's what he allows. It could be that the sheep heard the tractor, you see, and that would have got them running. Yeah, I've definitely pulled something in my hip. Ah, it's when I got over one of the... I had to lift my leg up a little bit higher on one of the stiles. I think I've just strained a ligament a little bit. But it'll be right. It, it will ease up in a minute. If not, I've got paracetamol on me. <sighs> See, one of the reasons to do the videos is because I know one day I, I might be able to do shorter walks. This is one of my big hikes. I mean, I've just met some people and they couldn't believe I was walking from Wales to Cheddar. I've walked from Wales to Weston before now. Three times. It's only walking. As long as you take enough to drink and something to eat. And just don't rush. Take your time. Enjoy, the, enjoy your surroundings. I suppose that's what farmers think, you know. 
are enjoying their surroundings. There's the barrows coming in again Look over there. That's a good thing about this camera with a zoom on it. It's just such peaceful, beautiful countryside I find. Style ahead. I know I videoed this before. I videoed this field when it's been seven foot high in whatever they grow in here. And I've had to walk through like a narrow gap here. I've done that before now. Because there is a way to avoid the cows. If you did want to come on a summer walk, you can do, like you say, these fields, there's no cows in them. And then what you do, you there is another little type field that you can take and, and you don't have to go near the cows. And quite often, if there are cows, the electric fences them off. So here we go, it's another style. Now there's this is the one you take if you want to go to the farm, right? There's a caravan site over there. Um, I'm not doing that one because that takes me down towards Pretty Village, right? So, but, so what you do... I found all this out by experiment, by the way, where each field would take me. If I want to avoid the cows that are down the bottom, I would go through that gate, okay? Now, in theory, there shouldn't be any cows down here. The fields are very cropped. So, in theory, there shouldn't be any cows. Oh, it's getting that leg over. I'm having trouble. Wait a minute, I've just got to put that down a minute. While I try and get over the stall without stretching that ligament too much. That's it. Oh, there we go. In the summer, the cows are up all the way up to here. They're all the way up to here, the cows. Oh. Right, over and out for a minute. I'll well, just walk along here a bit. So you've got pretty barrows over there. You've got stocks and wood. You've got the big mast of wells, the big aerial mast, radio mast. And you've got these beautiful fields. You've got these beautiful fields. Oh, actually my breathing's just starting to feel a little bit better now. For a minute, it can. The it, thing is with it, it changes a lot. I can um, feel really good because I've got this uh, groin thing at the moment where I've uh, oh, stretched something. But so apart from that, my breathing isn't laboured now. It's not. Um, I had this sort of ache in my back that seems to have gone. I mean, it's old age. Basically, it's old age. That's the awful thing about getting old. I mean, this to me would have made brilliant running country when I was into my running. Right, right over there, you'll see a hut on the hill. I've walked all over there as well. See that? I've walked all the way up to that. There's a lot of history to that little pile of stuff up there. There's, there's some military history to that. 
and ancient history as well. So like I said, a lot of battles took place in Somerset. The tribes are always fighting each other. They're always fighting each other. Now what I'm going to do, I, before, hopefully there ain't any cows and I won't have to skirt. When I came in December I had to walk through foot thick mud. And uh, I won't have to do that today if there's no cows, I can just walk straight across. Which is what I'll do. Alright, over and out for a minute. 